Let me show you how I used AI to turn this image of myself into a professional LinkedIn headshot like this. And no, you don't need any technical skills to do this. And in this video, I will show you both free and paid ways for you to accomplish this to boost your online presence. And if you want to try the tools that I'm about to show you, make sure to check the links in the description. But now let's get started with the video. So the first thing you want to do is head over to BetterPick. Dot io. Then just click on get your headshots now, then sign in with Google, then choose generate headshots for one person if you want to do this alone. You can also do this for your entire team and then just read the instructions. So all you need to do is upload a bunch of traditional images of yourself where you're clearly visible and where you're not making faces. Then just wait for less than an hour and then you'll get your images. So once you understand the idea, just click get started, then choose a plan. So if you're not ready to commit to it that much, you can use the basic or pro option. But my recommendation is expert simply because it has this human edits option. And this is going to be so handy, especially if you're doing this on a team, because you can ask a real person with one click of a button and with a simple text box to change your image. So for instance, if you have pimples, if you have some wrinkles, if you don't like the overall appearance, you can ask the team to edit your image to look exactly like you. So this is actually quite unprecedented and this is one of the reasons why this is my favorite AI headshot generator. So then just click on go with pro or go with expert, whatever you want to choose. I have bought the expert plan in the past already, so I'll go with the pro this time. Then it's time to fill in your order details. So for instance, you need to fill in your name, ethnicity, and then use cases. So for instance, website team, you do social media and CV and resume and stuff like that. And then choose the gender and then your eye color and then click on save and next. And then pick your style. So for instance, we can do Let's do real estate, then let's do let's do formal, and let's do navy blue. This is also cool because you don't only have one of these options, but you can add a bunch of these different styles. So for instance, we can do office, we can do casual, and we can do black. And I think we can add up to three, yeah, three styles. So let's do one more. Let's do retail, let's do smart casual, and let's do brown. And then click on let's save style and then click on continue. It is time to upload your images. So you can choose your images from your mobile devices, camera roll, which is exactly what I have done here. So here you can see some of these images that I have selected. So as you can see, these are traditional selfies, nothing professional. The only thing that you need to pay attention to is that you don't have images where you have somebody else in the image and you also don't want to be making faces in those images too much. So, and um, yeah, don't be wearing a hat. This is actually not a good image. But nonetheless, once you have chosen your images from your camera roll, then it is time to upload these images. And now that I'm dragging and dropping the images in, you can actually see that it's not approving every single one of these pictures. So here are eight images and here are pending photos and here are discarded photos. So for instance, this one was too low in resolution and this one as well. So it is not going to take those two low resolution images because the AI is not able to make most out of those images. So you want to be as clearly represented here as possible and that's why you want to upload a decent image or a bunch of decent images but yes you don't need to obviously you don't need to use studio quality images so these are just some traditional selfies that i have taken with my iphone and once everything is all set you can click on generate and then it will once more ask some questions so it will ask you to fill in the most appropriate options so for instance my hair is brown we can do that and then medium hair will be descriptive for me and then average body muscular body let's do that <laughs> and um yeah no glasses on me then let's click on next then you get to choose their hairstyle so let's do hmm straight hair is pretty close but i also think that i have some curls well let's do straight hair it's the most easy option and then just click on generate and as you can actually see i have generated a bunch of these so i have already some of these ready images here but once you have created your first image set it will say ai working and these headshots should be ready in less than 30 minutes. But we're not going to wait for that because I just generated these ones like last month or two months, two months ago. So I will show you my previous results right here. 
So let's click on view. And here you can see all these AI generated headshots. And as you can see, these are pretty close to what I look like. So <clears throat> I will show you these images first that I use to train this model. So I use these very same images. And as you can see, here are the real ones. And here are these AI generated ones. And these look super natural, super smooth and pretty much exactly like me. And for instance, this image that you see right here is something that I have actually used on my social media. So this is my LinkedIn profile picture because it's such a realistic image. And the cool part is that you can also like or dislike these pictures. So if you get, let's say, 120 images and you have 30 bad images, you can just dislike those so that they won't appear here anymore. And then here is why I recommend using the expert plan so once you see these images for instance here i have this necklace and i don't really like this because i don't wear a necklace ever it's like 15 years ago when i last wore one so let's get actually rid of it. so i can click on bpa edit here on the top right corner or the top left corner and then i can click on this human edit button here and then i can choose for instance other and then i can click on or write that i want to get rid of the necklace and now if i click on generate photos this tool will send this photo to a professional image editor in the better pick team and in the next 24 hours i think they will send you back the edited version and i actually did this already so let me show you my results so just to show you here is the original image so i have the necklace and I told to remove it, and here is the image without the necklace. So as you can see, the team did an exceptional job. It's completely flawlessly removed, and now this image is actually something I can use. So this is pretty cool, and that's only available in the expert plan, so I highly recommend you checking it out. I highly recommend you using this option because that way you will make your profile pictures and all these AI headshots uniform across your team, for example. And also, if you think about it, if you wanted to see images like this, uh, in a traditional sense or in a traditional way, you would have to hire a photographer. It would take them for days to show up, probably. You need to stress about all these things that you need to do before showing up in front of a camera because you want to optimize yourself for the headshots. But now you can just use some of these old images. You can spend 15 minutes choosing those, then wait for like 45 minutes to get these AI headshots and you get those at a fraction of the cost, at a fraction of the time it would take and at a fraction of the stress you would have before a photo shoot like this. Then let me show you a tool with which you can create these AI LinkedIn headshots for entirely free. And this tool is called Supower AI. And I have also left a link to this one in the description, but it's very easy to use. So all you need to do is head over to this page then click on generate a professional AI headshot, choose your gender, choose your style. For example, I love this professional style number one. Then choose your age range, choose your hair color, and then choose whether you wear glasses or not and whether you have a beard or not. And then continue, then choose your ethnicity and then upload an image. I'm going to use this image as my base image, so the AI is going to generate this photo by this, or based on this, and I can just drag and drop it into the view, then click on start generating. And this will take roughly a minute or two. And here we have it. So these are the AI generated free headshots. And now what you can do is you can click on these images to view those. You can make them bigger here. And then you can also change the background if you want to. And you can always use the download button to download one of these images for entirely free. So this is pretty cool. And now if we look at this image, this is pretty close to what I look like in the real life. So this one is the reference image. This is a real selfie of me. And this one right here is the AI generated free headshot. So the hairstyle is not a perfect match and my beard is also a bit darker than it usually is. But other than that, this is a close headshot. And then another issue I have with this is that sometimes, well, I think that these look more like 3D renders or some kind of painting. So these don't look really that realistic images if you look at these at a closer distance. So if I'm honest, I wouldn't be able to use this on my social media, but it is up to you. It is basically just a question of personal preferences so one might like this and the other ones might not like but one thing i can notice is that these bottom images are terrible so for instance if we open up this one 
it doesn't really even look like a real photo so this looks like a painting and it doesn't look that much much like me so i think that these ones were a lot better but nonetheless i recommend you playing around with these or adding some images testing these different styles different backgrounds i would at least generally generate like 20 30 images because the ai is always a bit of a dry roll so with one image you might get good results, with another one you might get bad results. And now let me show you how to create one of these AI headshots for free with a couple of steps that are easy to take. So the first thing you want to do is head over to this page called deepai.org and this is called the text to image machine learning model and you can once again find a link to that in the description. And then here's this create an image from text prompt. So the idea here is that you basically describe yourself here so for instance for me it would be something like let's put a 28 year old man with short light brown slightly curly hair and whatnot and here is the image description where i want to see myself in then i can choose this hd model and i can prefer quality and then i can click on generate after about 30 seconds you will receive an image and for example this one right here well it's not a perfect image and i think that it actually has a bit less brown hair than me so this is almost like blonde white hair nonetheless the idea here is that you create these images until you find something where you could see yourself in so it does not have to re resemble you it doesn't need to look like you because for instance this one doesn't look like me at all because that's actually what we're going to do in the next step. So once you have a good image, click on download. And now let's do an AI face swap. So first and foremost, here is the image that I just downloaded from the previous tool that I used. And here is an image of myself. And now the idea here is that I will take the face of this image using AI and merge it into this AI generated photo. And to do this, you need to head over to this tool called FaceWap or AIFaceWap.io. And I have left a link to this in the description. And here you will see a section where it says original image and face image. And now to make this work, you need to drag and drop the AI generated base image where you have yourself without your face in it into this original image section. And then into this face image, you're going to drag and drop a selfie. And now you can click on start face swapping and the better the image or the closer the image of your face there is the better the details are going to be in this ai face swapped ai generated headshot and right now here is our result <laughs> so as you can see it doesn't look exactly like me but it's pretty close so if we compare this once again you can clearly see some characteristics here and now the way i could make this a lot better is by generating a bunch of images like this so for instance as i said before this ai generated headshot is not perfect so the hair color isn't quite there and that's the reason why this image that I generated with the face web is not looking exactly like me because the hair is off. And now my overall recommendation is to use the paid AI headshot generator because not only does it create those super realistic images, but it also has those capabilities for customization as well as the human editing feature. But if you're not ready to commit to a paid plan just yet, feel free to mess around with the free strategies and tools that I showed you.